Oatmeal cookies for breakfast, sign me up. Oatmeal cookies are an amazing grab and go breakfast because you can make a couple on the weekend and then have a wholesome, delicious breakfast without any effort throughout the week. Today, I will show you three different oatmeal cookie recipes so you can choose your favorite or make all three so you have some variety during the week. They are all perfect for freezing, so no worries if you can't eat them all in one week. All cookies are baked at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 22 minutes. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then get started mixing. The first recipe is for banana oatmeal cookies. So, so yummy. I love using my food processor for these cookies. Start by making oat flour out of three quarters cup of old fashioned rolled oats by simply processing on high for a couple of seconds. The flour doesn't have to be super fine. Coarse flour is perfectly fine. Then add two very ripe bananas. The riper the bananas, the sweeter the cookies will be. Now add two pitted dates, a quarter cup melted coconut oil, and one egg and then process until smooth. Now add one cup of whole old-fashioned rolled oats, a quarter cup unsweetened shredded coconut and half a cup of dark chocolate chips and give it all a mix with a spatula. Take your time mixing as the oat flour will slowly absorb the liquid. Then take a quarter measuring cup Fill it with the cookie dough and then place on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Use the back of the measuring cup, a spoon or your fingers to flatten the cookie to about half an inch thick and repeat until you run out of dough. Bake the cookies for 18 to 22 minutes or until golden. Look at that deliciously chewy consistency. They are the best. Now let's get to the next oatmeal cookie recipe. I call these oatmeal breakfast cookies. I find while the banana oatmeal cookies can also serve as dessert, these here are super amazing for breakfast. You will need two thirds of a cup pureed sweet potato for them. I like pressure cooking my sweet potato in the Instant Pot. For that, I add about a cup of water to the bottom of the Instant Pot and then a medium sized sweet potato into the steamer basket or on the trivet directly. Set the pot to 45 minutes on high pressure and once done, I manually release pressure. In the meantime, let's prep the rest of the ingredients for the breakfast cookies. Add a three quarter cup of old fashioned rolled oats to a blender and blend on high for a couple of seconds until you have oat flour. Add the oat flour to a bowl and then add one cup of whole old fashioned rolled oats, half a cup chopped pecans, a quarter cup ground flax seeds, a quarter teaspoon sea salt and a quarter teaspoon cardamom, half a cup dried cranberries and then set it aside. In a separate bowl, whisk two eggs, then add a quarter cup melted coconut oil, a quarter cup maple syrup, and two thirds of a cup completely cooled down sweet potato puree. Make sure it's cold or else your eggs will cook. Whisk it all together until smooth and then add to your dry ingredients and mix with a spatula. Again, take your time mixing as the oat flour will slowly absorb the liquid. Then take a quarter measuring cup, fill it with the cookie dough and then place on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Use the back of the measuring cup, a spoon or your fingers to flatten the cookie to about half an inch thickness and repeat until you run out of dough. Bake the cookies for 18 to 22 minutes or until golden. Do these look delicious or what? The third and last oatmeal cookie recipe is what I call midnight cookies. The perfect cookie for your midnight cravings, sweet but wholesome and nutrient dense and with loads of ingredients that help you get a good night's sleep. For the midnight cookies, blend three quarter cups of old fashioned rolled oats to make oat flour. Then add the oat flour to a bowl and add one cup of whole old fashioned rolled oats, half a cup chopped cashews, half a cup sesame seeds, several spices, which are a quarter teaspoon sea salt, a half a teaspoon cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon ginger, and an eighth of a teaspoon cardamom, and give it all a quick mix to distribute the spices. Then add half a cup pitted dates to the blender, 
a half a cup of applesauce, a quarter cup melted coconut oil, two tablespoons of honey, and an egg and blend until smooth. Add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and mix with a spatula. Again, take your time mixing as the oat flour will slowly absorb the liquid. Then take a quarter cup measuring spoon, fill it with the cookie dough and then place on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Use the back of a measuring cup, a spoon or your fingers to flatten the cookie to about half inch thickness and repeat until you run out of dough. Bake the cookies for 18 to 22 minutes or until golden. We love giving these to the kids as dessert after dinner to avoid sugar rushes just before bed and to help them stay calm and get sleepy. I hope you're gonna give one or all three of these oatmeal cookie recipes a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and wait, 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 wait before you leave. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more recipes like this one and go check out this recipe.